If you are a sewer, you probably know the term stitch in the ditch, but it also refers to a, something that we do with beads. And we frequently see stitch in the ditch with right angle weave stitch. The reason is you can, first of all, it's got the perfect placement for little ditch spots to add little beads. It also really firms up your beadwork and makes a huge difference in how in the stiffness of the beadwork. So when you're shaping things, stitch in the ditch is really your friend. Let me show you how to do it with right angle weave. Now I'm going to show you how to do this with tubular right angle weave, but let me just point out that this same technique would say, let's pretend this piece was flat. I'm just going to kind of flatten my tube out here. The same exact technique will apply if it's flat, whether it's a tubular that's cubic, whether it's a tubular that is triangle, whether it's two beads per side on your, each one of these raw squares, or one bead per side on this raw square, the whole thing is the same. And here's what we're looking at. When we're talking about the ditch, we're talking about these intersections here that we were so careful in right angle weave to not cross with our thread. That is a perfect location now, all of these little holes, to attach another bead. But because we're attaching it in the ditch, it's going to sit up about a half step from all the other beads. Uh, so it gives you some texture. It gives you an ability to build up from those sticky uppy beads. It also firms up your beadwork, and it's the simplest thing in the world to do. So here, I'm gonna get myself in position. I wanna to get to that first full open intersection there, and I just need to pass through some beads to get there. And I am going to pick up a new bead and I'm literally just going straight down this row here. I'm going to pick up the bead. It's going to sit in that intersection and I'm passing through the next two beads. And when you pull it, you kind of, yep, you kind of feel a pop there as it pops into, into place. And you can just go straight down a row and it will transform your beadwork. It also really makes those squares stand in, into attention too. So it really squares up the squares. And it's a very satisfying thing to do. <laughs> so there we go. So now you've got this beautiful ridge right here. You could build off of this. Let's just point out that uh, this gives you a sticky uppy and a down bead. If you wanted to, you could turn this into peyote and build peyote off of your right angle weave. Um, if you want to stiffen up the whole piece here, you would just move to the next column and do the same thing on this next column and just go up and down stitching in the ditch and it really will stiffen everything up. I also want to show you though over here uh, what it looks, something else that you can do with um, the size bead. Here the size bead that I was adding matched the size bead that the tube was made, the right angle weave was done in. So in this case they're all size eights. But here let's pretend that I want this to curve a little bit instead of being straight. You can make that happen by using a smaller bead in that stitch in the ditch spot. So even though this is, these squares are only one bead per side, you're still gonna do the exact same thing. You go straight up this column using a single bead in between each one of them. And in this case, with our, the size eight, uh, the size eight base, I'm using size 11 seed beads in my ditch. And as I do this and I tighten, it is actually going to start shaping the beadwork. Because for as you're tightening, you're keeping that thread from showing. And for the thread to not show, it's having to curve a little bit. It's probably not real obvious here in my hand, but let's wait till we get to the end here.
All right, so now as I tighten this, notice how we've got a bit of a curve going on right here. You can see it. And you can exaggerate that curve even more by going on the opposite side and doing stitch in the ditch in these spots by using a bead that's one size bigger. So instead of using size eights over here, I could use size sixes that would continue to encourage this curve to happen. So in this case, it's a pretty subtle curve because it's, it's eights to elevens, but still you're getting some curve. And if you are using a smaller diameter, um, smaller diameter tube, uh, say it's you're using cubic this is what I'm looking for if you're using cubic and you do this you get a much bigger curve action going on so that's another time that you're going to see people reference stitch in the ditch is if they're trying to uh, have use the beads to create curves and changes in in just from being straight to being something more interesting and exciting and I just think stitch in the ditch is really um, if you have ever loomed and you love that pop as those beads pop into place in between the threads, this is kind of that same feeling. It just pops into that spot and it's so satisfying. Stitch in the Ditch with Right Angle Weave.